Hey guys, it's Doc. Spreader review time. I've been promising this for a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and grab them real quick, show them to you, do a comparison, talk about quality, price, a few different things. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, um, it's not just about price. It's not just about quality. It's not just about size. It's just not about performance. It's really about finding the right spreader that fits your needs for the way that you use it. But I am going to go over some of the features and quality and pricing on these different spreaders so that you find which one works best for you. Now, I'm going to tell you which one I think the average homeowner should get. And it may be different than that because my thought, his thoughts have changed a little bit. But if you have a decent sized yard, I'm going to tell you right now, my winner is probably this one right here. Um, the Agrifab, I think, is if, you're, if you do a lot of lawn care work, if you're doing humic treatments, if you're doing fertilizers, if you're doing, you know, lime, if you're doing a whole bunch of stuff, that's probably going to be my number one choice. Now, in the description down below, I'm going to have links to these different spreaders so that you can see exactly which one I'm talking about, see the price on it. And they're all available on Amazon, by the way. Um, some of those over there you can get in the big box stores. And that's what I did. I stopped, bought one of those minis at the big box store. But uh, let's just go over them real quick. I'm not going to get, like I said, just simple facts and uh, we'll talk about it real quick. First of all, wheel, let's talk about the main differences that you'll find on a spreader. Uh, your wheelbase, you're going to have a wheelbase difference. That doesn't make it a better, it's just that wider wheelbase is, of course, give you more stability. Tire size, the bigger the tire, typically better. A pneumatic tire, in other words, an air-filled tire versus a hard plastic tire, is going to give you that softer ride over that bumpy lawn. Uh, quality of construction. The thickness of the hopper is going to come into play. So how thick and how well made is the hopper? The actual quality of materials when it comes to the actual tubing. So is it a cheap, thin steel tube or is it a stainless steel welded product? And the overall quality. I'll tell you right now that obviously this one right here, the LCO 1000 by Andersons is my little baby. <laughs> that's the one I love the most and that's the one I probably use the most. But is the average homeowner going to spend 500 bucks on a spreader? I don't think so. It really is a commercial grade spreader. Top of the line, it's like driving a Mercedes Benz across your yard. It's that quiet. It's that smooth, it's that well made, it's that solid, it's a wonderful piece of equipment. However, um, the rest of the spreaders will do their job for them because if you got a 1,000 square foot yard, or if you only go out once or twice a year, just do a little area, a little mini over here is great too. So let me go over some. So when I talk about the mini, I mean mini. I mean, this thing is small, it's light. You can just about put it in your back pocket, <laughs> but you can hang this thing up in the garage. I mean, it's not going to hold a lot of material. It's going to hold maybe what, you know, maybe half a bag of material. But if you have a small lawn, it's fine for it. Again, I like the fact that it's small and it's 35 bucks. You really can't beat it. It also has, uh, again, this one has, it has these molded plastic tires. Cheap. The, the box is thin. It does have an edge guard system, so it has an edge guard, so around sidewalks and driveways it'll divert from around the edges. And for 35 bucks it's going to get the job done, and if that's all you need, that's all you need. Again, it's going to pound the heck out of you as you're going around the yard. It's going to shake, it's going to vibrate, but it's 35 bucks. Now, the one that I'm missing is basically like a Stay Green or a Scott's, the standard size spreader, which is like twice the size of the Mini. It has one single rotor on it, runs about 50 bucks, but it's about the same quality as the Mini, just a little bit larger. So you got 35 bucks and you go to 50 bucks. Then you've seen me use the Scott's Elite spreader, which is their larger spreader with dual rotors on it. So you have dual spreader, dual rotor system down here. Again, the whole unit is basically plastic. The box is not bad as far as quality goes. Uh, the tires, the tires are not true pneumatic. In other words, they're not air tires, they're actually foam tires. 
The gear system, again, most of these spreaders have a plastic gear system so they don't rust. You're putting a lot of toxic stuff through. It has um, the edge guard system is actually located up here on the handle. So this is now your edge guard is up here on your handle versus having to reach down. It does have a little cruise control feature that you can lock the handle on, which is kind of nice. I'm, I don't really use that, but it, it is nice to have. Um, what else? And it holds a lot of material and it puts out a good pattern. Like I said, I've been using this one for a while. And again, it's not too heavy. I can store this up on the wall. Price wise, it's not outrageous. 99 bucks. You go on Amazon and get it for 99 bucks, or you can go to the big box stores and get it for 99 bucks. I like getting it through Amazon because it's brand new in the box, hasn't been sitting on one of the shelves, and I can put it together right. So, decent spreader though. Well, I must well go to the, I must well go to the king here. <laughs> so this is the top of the line. This is the Anderson spreader, and the Anderson spreaders. Um, you're going to have a super heavy molded plastic hopper right here. Also inside the hopper, you're going to have, I'll get the camera here in a minute and show you, but you also have this grating system that I call the clump grater. It keeps any clumps up high away from the bottom and sort of breaks them up. You have these massive pneumatic tires. Now these tires are not only 12 inches tall, but they're like five and a half inches wide. And let me tell you what, this thing just takes over any terrain. The frame on this is a stainless steel frame. And you can see that all this around here has welded supports, cross braces, just rock solid. Uh, this has a slide setting system. So this system here slides back and forth. So you loosen this up and you slide it. It has a it has a one-touch release, so on off. So I'm on and I go push and I'm off. Now I do like that. And quiet. Super, super quiet. It does have a massive a massive uh, impeller throw system down here. This is a massive blade. Again, absolutely love this beast. That's my little baby. All right. So now, this is the one that I bought for you guys to test out. I wanted a much bigger one that had pneumatic tires. That sort of hit in between. I was closer to the Elite, but a step up in quality. And I think that this is my winner overall for the value, for the money. Number one, if you ever need, like if you're going to put out lime, <laughs> I have this hopper filled up with 110 pounds worth of, worth of lime. And I didn't have any problem pushing it around. It, it took it fairly well. So this thing has pneumatic 12 inch tires. They're not as wide. They're not as wide as, as, uh, the Anderson's one, they're about three and a half inches wide, but they are true pneumatics. Uh, it does not have grease fittings on it. The Anderson tire and axle wheels have actually gre uh, grease barbs, so you can grease it. This one you'd have to spray in there. The thrower blade here is a little bit smaller, but I'll show you that um, when I was putting out the lime, I got real good throwing action with it. Same thing, fully encased plastic gear system. That's what the majority of them have. Big old hopper. Uh, quality of the hopper is pretty good. I don't really see it cracking. Again, like I said, I put 110 pounds of lime in it. It was pretty good. The frame is just tubular metal. It's not stainless steel. Can you feel a difference between this one and the Andersons? At 100 pounds of material, you can a little bit. This one is just a little bit less solid feeling than the stainless steel one. Again, but you're talking about $170 versus $500. Anderson's is my little baby. <laughs> but this one right here, I think overall is a real good spreader. Now, let's look at, let's look at the handle system. The handle system has a little adjustment. So basically you adjust this right here up and down, lock it into place, on, off. 
let's look inside the hopper All box. Right. So inside the hopper box, you can see what happens when this one turns. Has that big cotter pin spinner. So you got a big old. So you got a big old dump tray here. So uh, again, I think for the money, it does have some settings down here on here. Fairly quiet, but you do have that spreader spreader grind that you'll find in most of your spreaders. Totally silent. Here's the grate inside of it. Again, there's your little spreader pin. That's that half setting there. And you have three holes versus one. There's your little slide settings. Again, a much better throw system, I think. Better quality overall. You can see where this one has stainless steel welded construction, real heavy tires. This one <clears throat> is more of a bolt system, bolt together system. That's elite. You can see it has a four hole system, dial settings, edge guard up here. And of course, your dual dual settings there. It's not a bad running unit though, really. For the money, it's not bad. And then you have the little mini guy. There's one like this that is larger. That's the basic model like this. This is the mini version of it. Edge guard, you have to reach down, turn the edge guard on, which is, I mean, not a huge problem. Price, quality, features, and all that combined, where do I put it? Probably a B. This one, probably a C plus. It's cheap. <laughs> this one, probably an A minus. And the reason why you have the minus on the A is because of the cost. I just don't think it really is. I don't think the average homeowner is going to go spend $500 on it. It's, again, that's my favorite. This one. Uh, again, I think I'd give it an A minus, but I think this is the one. I'd give this one probably an A minus. I think this is the one that would suit most homeowners, the average homeowner. As long as you got the garage space for it, because this is this is a pretty good size spreader. You have to put it together yourself. You need to allow about 30 minutes for the thing. They do have videos on how to put it together, and I'd recommend, there's four short videos, watch four or five short videos, watch the videos, then take the owner's manual and go sit down. That's a tip for you. The next thing that you have to consider when it comes to these is also the spreader width pattern. In other words, the throw pattern and what happens. So when you're working with something like the Mini, the Mini has, depending on the material, let's say about a four to five foot width pattern. When you go up to something like a standard spreader, you're probably at about a six to seven foot pattern. When you go up to something like the Elite, you're probably around an eight foot throw pattern. And when you get up to the large spreaders, then you're up to sometimes as wide as 10 or 12 feet. Now that makes a big difference when you're walking a big yard. Save your legs a little bit, but man, the big spreaders, if you really have a larger yard, it really pays off to have that big 10, 12 foot spray pattern. So remember guys, there's uh, lots of choices when it comes to spreaders, but I wanted to show you a variety of them. And I was looking for kind of that sweet spot for the person that wanted to step up to a larger spreader, but didn't want to spend the $500. And I think I found it in that AgriFab. That's a really good spreader. Again, a lot of people use the Scott's Elite. It's a decent spreader for 99 bucks. The Mini, I'd, I'd really kind of caution against people buying the Mini unless you got a really small yard. As soon as you start to put weight on that thing, it's hard to push. It's kind of unstable and rocky. I'm afraid you're going to spill it. But again, the Scott's Elite, I've had real good success with. I've used it a lot. I got tons of miles on that thing. Uh, of course, the Anderson, the big green one, the, the $500 spreader, that's an amazing spreader. But again, I don't think that's the right choice for the average homeowner. But I think the, uh, the Ag Pro that I got, uh, now again, go to the web page down below. And I'll put a link directly to that unit you get on Amazon. It's about 170 bucks, including shipping. It's a really good unit, and I kind of like it. 
That's it guys, click the subscribe. I'm getting ready to go shoot another video. And this time we're gonna be doing the brand new fertilizer that's coming out hopefully in about three weeks. Talk to you later, Doc.